Hi listeners, welcome to this session. I am Dr. Aravind. My background is LLB, MPA, MPhil and PhD in social media marketing. So basically I am HR and marketing expert. In marketing, I am into social media marketing and digital marketing and e-commerce. I am very glad to take this session on media monitoring and evaluation. So hope you know about uh, media. So when we talk about media, we have to talk about marketing first. In marketing, all, all you know about uh, four P's. So it is also called as a marketing mix. So what are the four P's of marketing? Price, product, place and promotion. I'm not taking the first three P's. I'm taking only the last P, promotion. In that promotion, there are n number of uh, factors. It is also called as five finger story. What are the five finger story? Advertising, sales promotion, direct selling, personal selling, publicity and PR. In this P, promotion will communicate about the organization and uh, the product to the entire mass. Entire mass in the sense entire prospect and the customers and consumers. So this P is used for communicating, disseminating what exactly happening in the organization or what exactly brand need to communicate to the customers. Definitely media comes in this P. Listeners, we can get into the session monitoring and evaluating media coverage. Listeners, the objective of this unit are to provide you with a basic understanding of the concept monitoring and evaluating media coverage. Media is a form of communication that operates at mass level reaching out to most people in the society. Therefore, the event manager must make all possible attempts to understand the way the media works, their requirements and objective to make best use of their potential. The first half of the unit covers media and its components, events and monitoring of a media. And the second half of the unit covers evaluating media coverage. And after going through this unit, you will be able to understand the role and significance of media for events. Identifying the importance of uh, monitoring media for events and explaining evaluating media coverage for events. I hope every listener come across events in our daily lives either as observer or participants. But very few of us have a managed events. Am I right? Event management is a process involving planning, organizing, staffing, leading and evaluation. I will tell you um, mnemonics for remembering this. P-O-S-L-C planning, organizing, staffing, controlling and uh, evaluating. Okay, so L is leading also. Okay, P-O-S-L-E means planning, organizing, staffing, controlling and uh, evaluation. So a number of companies are hosting and organizing events on a regular basis. These events are either small scale private events or large scale international events. There is a huge range of events starting from big internationally organized sports such as uh, you know commonwealth games olympics and uh, from uh, that to family ceremony of a newborn baby uh, next to your door so media has a huge potential with a power to reach millions of people within a very short period of time the event manager can effectively utilize the power of media to inform the stakeholders about the event Nowadays, increased fragmentation of uh, media provides more point of contacts for event planners to consider. Let's discuss the importance of a media coverage on your event. In event management, definitely media is an indispensable thing which helps the event management company to reach out a huge population. You know, for what purpose event management company is depend upon media? Let's see. Get sponsors. A good media coverage may even attract some equally good financial support. 
it is called as a pre event marketing many companies are eager to be associated with the popular events and may further promote you to the audience and some very tempting offers too exposure to new opportunities is the second one next second important thing this instantly means targeting for a larger audience not only will this boost the morale but will help create a goodwill among the masses about an event the third one is making good contacts definitely media coverage bring it will surely increase the credibility of you and your group and can help with the later connections and work media and its components let's look on to the slide according to cats media can be defined as any communication medium that is designed and managed by an owner with the aim of informing or entertaining an audience so media has a major role in disseminating things communicating things then educating things uh, to the audience so when this communication operates at a large scale to reach out to masses it is referred to as mass media or it is also called as the industry is called as a, you know mass media industry so in mass media we can have an example we have an example like a tv radio newspapers even social media consider as a mass media and it is also called as and this kind of a communication is also called as a mass communication the role of uh, the media is to convey information and entertainment to a variety of people with audiences ranging from individuals to companies and other organizations if you go back in time we will find that written words were the most effective way of a communication it will spread like a you know forest fire so these were in the form of book articles newspaper magazines periodicals etc however these were suspended by radio and television and what we see today is an electronic version of a newspaper on the website you can see the slide about how traditional media and uh, new media is invading uh, the world so we can classify medias into three types print media which includes newspaper magazine newsletter outdoor billboards you no know, periodic periodicals etc when we talk about print media newspaper is inevitable one newspaper is a major source of information for a large number of readers so it may be national or local daily or weekly newspapers and even management company can select a good newspaper which is apt for marketing the event or even management company can uh, tie up with a newspaper company where uh, newspaper company and the event management company together work for promoting the events the advantage of newspaper is it will allow presentation of detailed messages which can be read at readers conveyance it allows prompt delivery of detailed coverage of a news about the event and other information which is interesting feature for the readers regarding the events it is a high involvement media as uh, readers are required to devote some effort in reading the message and it is available to masses at very low cost so newspaper also can be classified into national newspaper daily newspaper like a local or regional special audience newspapers like a tabloid etc so these are the advantage of a newspaper like a flexibility should be there like a, we can target the audience with the geographical and language selectivity and widespread coverages would be there offers presentation reader involvement should be there and cheap media with a high frequency high repetitive value and quick responses are the advantage of a selecting newspaper as a media definitely when we talk about advantage disadvantage should also be uh, mentioned so poor presentation and quality short life span of uh, newses 
limited selectivity and regard to lifestyles it's very hard to reach literate and poor people that is the major disadvantage of a newspaper so newspaper is the earliest of the mass media which brought information to its readers there are variety of a local and national newspaper varying not only in language but in the content as well on the other hand radio as a mass communication medium found greater potential in disseminating information to mass audience it has overcome the limitation of being useful to literates only and has been a source of information to anyone who has access to it so though there is no barrier for radio in between a literate people and a non literate people non literate people can also hear radio since it is audible right you need not want to read so various satellite television companies operating at multi country level and specialize in specific areas only such as sport music and so on after evaluating the type and size of audience a particular television station reaches out to the event manager can send the information for telecast when we talk about uh, uh, television broadcasting media like a uh, television uh, it allows development of a creative and imaginative ad messages in a unique way the event management companies can combine visual image sound motion and color to achieve viewers empathy then uh, it is considered interesting in nature as the audience have no control over the nature and piece of advertisements it is believed the most authoritative influential exciting media for reaching very large audience so these are the advantage of uh, television advertising television is other influential medium among other popular media given the size of a mass audience it can reach and the impact it has different television station of the different state or countries have come up with the uh, local needs of language and culture so they are catering to regional people they are catering to international people they are catering to national level etc when we talk about radio radio is a premier mass medium for users and advertisers it has a wide spread reach in us people use uh, radio more than uh, television and uh, newspapers because while driving and all while cooking they can hear what exactly happening in the world through radio it delivers the ad message to a large number of people across the length and breadth of a country so commercial broadcasting is undertaken in major cities even rural areas that is the major advantage so even management company can use a radio as a even partner for uh, communicating the pre event then uh, event and post event news so there are some advantage for radio it has a wide coverage it helps to reach lower income people illiterate people that is the major advantage so disadvantage is definitely obvious it is like uh, lack of uh, visual elements short lived messages then uh, audience fragmentations also there so limited research data we couldn't able to collect the research data how much people uh, has uh, uh, got the messages so definitely it is very difficult to get it next is digital media or electronic media television radio internet podcast social media hope you know about podcast so podcast is same like a web based radio okay or a web based the uh, audio blogging so there are n number of examples for podcast that is uh, uh, spotify anchor etc after this class you can just search into those website and understand what exactly podcasting so social media has uh, facebook youtube twitter linkedin pinterest you know hello etc so there are different types of internet advertisement website advertisement is there ad buttons are there ad banners are there social media advertisements are there email marketing is are there classified ads are also there so website online browsers of a product services can be you know make available on the event websites 
even facebook page can also be used for communication twitter linkedin hello tiktok instagram everything so these all these social media platform can also use for uh, you know communicating an event so advantage of internet communication is interactive medium because it is two way communication the audience can also ask questions doubts etc so the emergence of a social networking sites or social media has taken communication to another level the creation of website blogs and social media platform like a uh, facebook twitter youtube etc have enabled the contemporary event manager to build network and upload event profiles up to date with it no time social network with people who share similar interest activities backgrounds or real life connections is advantage to the event industry these networking services also make it possible to connect people with a similar interest and uh, activities across political economical geographical borders so website are connecting industries and small organizations which were otherwise fragmented in the apps and resources to reach a broader audience with interest users communicating digital through such online communities allows sharing of uh, information ideas and creating a digital environment the word media came from the latin word middle media carry message or from a targeted audience and can add meaning to the message media planning in advertising is a series of decisions involving the delivery of message to the targeted audience media plan is the plan that details the usage of media in an advertising campaign including cost running dates market research frequency rationales and strategies you know the step in development of a media plan so these are the steps which involved in media plan first one is market analysis every media plan begins with a market analysis or environmental analysis complete review of uh, internal and external factors is uh, required at this stage media planner try to identify answers of a following questions like uh, who is the target audience what internal external factors may influence the media plan where and when to focus the advertising efforts etc the target audience can be classified in terms of demography like age sex income occupation and other variables the classification of target audience helps media planner to understand the media consumption habit and uh, accordingly choose the most appropriate media or media mix the second one establishing media objective media objective describes what you want the media plan to accomplish there are five key media objective that a advertiser or even manager has to consider so reach frequency continuity cost and weight we'll explain one by one in detail reach reach refers to the number of people that will be exposed to a media vehicle at least once during a given period of time frequency is what exactly the average number of times an individual within target audience is exposed to a media vehicle during a given period of time so continuity in the other hand it refers to the pattern of advertisement in a media schedule continuity alternatives are as follows in that continuous is the first one the strategy of running campaign evenly over a period of time is called a continuous pulsing is strategy of running campaign steadily over a period of time with a intermittent increase in advertising at certain intervals as during festivals or special occasion like a olympics or world cup etc next one is discontinuous a strategy of uh, advertising heavily only at certain intervals and no advertising in the interim period as in case of a seasonal product so cost is on the other hand it refers to the cost of different media 
weight is weight refers to total advertising required during a particular period the third one is determining media strategies so media strategy is determined considering these factors first one media mix so from the wide variety of uh, media vehicle the advertiser can employ one vehicle or a mix suitable vehicle target market scheduling it shows the number of advertisement size of advertisement and time on which advertisement to appear steady pulse according to this scheduling one ad is shown over a period of time say one ad per week or one ad per month so next is periodic pulse a regular pattern is followed in such scheduling as in case of a consumer durable erratic pulse no regular pattern is uh, followed in such scheduling next is startup pulse such scheduling is followed during a new campaign or a launch of a new product or event so promotional pulse so promotional pulse is more uh, important for event management company to market their events it is for short time only for a promotional period or for a event period so reach and frequency creative aspects creativity in ad campaigns decide the success of the event but to implement this creativity the event management must employ a media that supports such a strategy like a flexibility and effective media strategy requires a degree of flexibility so budget constraint is another thing so budget constraint in determining media strategy cost must be estimated and budget must be considered media selection is a head breaking job for a media planner in event management company it covers two broad decisions selection of media class and selection of a media vehicle within media class the fourth one is implementation of a media plan the implementation of media plan requires media buying media buying refers to buying time and space in the selected media so following are the steps in media buying let's get into that collection of information media buying requires sufficient information regarding nature of target audience nature of target market etc uh next is selection of media or media mix by considering the research done by the media ma- uh, event management company or even promoter they have to select the correct media so they have to select the budget media as per the budget they have researched so target audience and advertiser should be there next is issuing ad or copy to media so ad copy is issued to the media for broadcast or telecast next is monitoring performance of media this we will learn in the next video anyway we will discuss here also advertiser has to monitor whether the telecast or broadcast of ad is done properly as decided the last one is uh, evaluation and uh, follow up so evaluation we will also learn in the next video so evaluation is essential to assess the performance of any activity two factors are important in evaluation of media plan how successful were the strategies in achieving media objective was the media plan successful in accomplishing advertising objective i am concluding this video by stating it's pure responsibility of a media planner in a even management company to take a successful strategy that help build and confidence and serve as reference for developing media strategies in future as well and failure is thoroughly analyzed to avoid mistake in future the main task of a media planner in even management company is to select the most appropriate media channels that can effectively communicate the advertising message to a target audience of the event hence it is essential for the media planners in a event management company to keep up with the latest media trends keep up with the new technological development determine long and short term effective of different media like factors determining media selection nature of uh, media nature of event 
market requirements advertisement objectives nature of a message and appeal advertising budget competitor choice media availability penetration size and nature of a event hence media can be considered as an indispensable element for event promotion choosing the right media definitely relate with the success of the event thank you so much